Now we have Zaiba Khanu. She's an engineering student from Bengaluru. She's a cleft, proud individual and a truly inspiring young soul. So let's hear from Zaiba, who believes that her cleft that is her uniqueness and that makes her stand out, which is something everybody today has spoken to us about. Hena, right? they've all mentioned this. So now let's hear from Zaiba. Zaiba, welcome to CleftCon 2022. I am 22 years old. I have born with cleft and palate both, not a single. Means it was very horrible, like horrible journey. Even in my school days, I was unable to face the teachers and unable to face the society also. I was uh, avoid gathering with the teachers. I usually avoid the gathering with the teachers, not only with the society, even in the family, family functions and all. So later, I got under. Um, later, I got to the surgery. Then I got to know about the smile string in the year of 2016. There, I got my almost four surgeries. I have been completed my almost four to five surgeries. The smile string gave me the confidence to face the world. As I was, bro- they are not just treating me physically, but they were also treating me mentally. Not only me, they are, they were also. Means to tell my parents and my family members to feel like a normal, behave like a normal, so that I should feel proud on myself. The main thing was in my youthful journey was when I was in seven. So there was one function like a farewell day. I wanted to join. I wanted to join in a dance competition and even in a. Uh, there was one therapy. Therapy means it's like a train something. So because of my voice, I was unable to speak properly. My words were not proper. Proper like so, I was unable to come out. The words which are there, like K, G, and all that words for that I was unable to come out properly. I was pronouncing in a different way that people may listen and not to me. So my teachers and my all my So, so my teachers and my friends were blocking on me. So my teachers avoided me, avoid me to go to that competition. They have not given me the chance to go, and they didn't give, give me a single chance to try them. So later, in past few years, I was unable to face. So now I'm confident, confidently face to the world. I can go anywhere. I can speak. I can. I can go to jobs. I was before like I was uh, what will tell. I was feeling uncomfortable. I think that if people laugh at me, why what I should say? Means I was like why am I different? I uh, means bad five years I was hating myself. I don't like myself. No, but now I love human. I love myself. Here is the main point is self confidence. Self confidence is very very important to each and every person. Not only a stress patient, even the other people also. People say and tell that how your baby has born. You have tell them let them die. Don't treat them. This is not our way. This is not our religion. If God gave us like that, if our God did, it is not your way. That you make us the there is make us suicide. Or uh, there is need for people in the palate or a stress. Patients like uh, they have did something wrong. They have like what we call some negativity have uh, came from the boss for them. So that is the main reason we should not do. If the society make us feel normal, then we can feel normal. If they the main thing is society only don't make us feel normal. If they are trying to feel normal, they are trying to behave normal. People will be like. You are like this. How can you be with blah blah something and all that? So because of this smile train, now I am very much confident and happy. Not only me, even my parents, my father, my mother, even my family members. Everyone, they are all thanks to smile train, smile train members, and smile train team. 
so the message is like so keep on on laughing at you like then laugh because you are different but you love them laugh on them because they are different because what they do are different are uh, different kind everyone give you a thing everyone get a single chance at single thing but you are getting three to four faces at least two faces everyone will get as a frustration even i got three faces and i was born i got a different face at least for the uh, 15 years I, ha- i have a different face then after going to surgery the my face was changing randomly at least every year my face was changing now this is a permanent face because i'm spending too much amount for the facial surgery for the nose surgery and many more but we are not spending that because god are giving us a natural surgery like we are getting it in the process for each of uh, after each surgery it's like um it's not different you should not feel like oh before i was like this now i have become if there is a unsuccessful in surgery also it is not actually really bad you will get better than that Sometimes, sometimes, not 99%, only 0.5% sometimes happens if a surgery is failed. You should not take a, you should not uh, think too much and you should not feel like uh, no or nothing can happen. Whatever happens, feel confident to save the world. Whatever it is, if you are failure, if you are successful, each and every person in a world, there are failure in some part of their life. So you have to don't think about your failure. Just think about your success and be happy. You have only few years of life, like just a for sixty or seventy years. Don't waste your time by making yourself sad and feeling yourself low. Just be happy and stay strong enough to face the world and be confident. So the main thing I want to tell you: the parents should be happy, however your child is. You have to stay confident. Whatever people say, society says, you just ignore it. If you are happy, if you are, if you are I know every parent says support their children, however the child is. But society will affect somehow at least ten percent not at least for five percent the society what will affect you. It will hurt you a lot. But you have to learn to listen to the society and the world. Yes. Stay, stay strong and support your child and give your child the best treatment.